I guess we'll just go ahead and get it started. So, um, weeks Week. of practice, how's everything been going on so far? Man, it's been fun. You know, I think um, really we've had one, I think, what I'd call a bad practice would be uh, on Monday after got get, getting back from spring break. I thought that was a very average to below average practice. Um, but other than that, every other day has been outstanding. I mean, great energy, great competitiveness. Um, it You know, guys mean something to them. I mean, it means something to them to come out. It's not just, a, you know, they say you got to get 15 days of practice in spring and, you know, let's just go show up. That's not happening. They're coming out and they're working really good, working hard, very intentional in, in their approach. Um, and, and really in all three phases, um, you know, I think um, it's fun to watch as a coach. You know, we, we're trying to create a lot of different scenarios and, and different things throughout the practice to be able to, um, you know, to coach off of those, to teach off of those things. A lot of, a lot of two-minute scenarios, red zone work, um, and then, um, you know, of course, third down work. I mean, those are things that, you know, we're trying to get better at, and I think we, we have gotten better um, you know, offensively with that. And so that that's really helping us. And we've and we've tackled way more this spring than we ever have since I've been here. Um, again, today was another day of that. We tackled today with um, in about three different segments of practice. Hey, Coach, uh, Michael McCammon. Um, you mentioned defense. Obviously, that's an area that you guys want to improve upon this year. I mean, you want to improve everywhere, yeah. obviously. Um, but have you have you been pleased or have you been pleased with the progress that they're making week by week? Yeah, you know, I think right now there, there's – there's several guys that are out, you know, as you think about starters that are, that are not getting the reps, you know, which makes a difference. And, um, you know, Monty Montgomery, Trey Clark, uh, Duncan, uh, Momo, n none of those guys are, are out there whenever we're going, you know, live. And so that makes a difference. You know, we do have, you know, Yaya's really showing up, you know, Ashton's showing up, making some great plays, um, you know, really like what we're seeing from them. But we are developing some other guys, you know, as you think about, um, you know, uh, uh, KJ Cloyd's, you know, at linebacker there, Debo. Um, I call him Debo. What's what's Levin's name? Uh, Dorian Jones. Yeah, Dorian Jones. Man, I call him Debo. Dorian Jones. He's uh he, he's getting a lot of reps at linebacker, so he's doing some good stuff. Um, you know, Trey Franklin has gotten better at, at corner. You know, hopefully, you know, he can give us some depth as we get into into the fall. You know, but there's a lot of guys that that are not here yet. Also, that'll be in that secondary that that'll help us. Um, you know, and then. You know, and then, like I mentioned, those those injured guys. But, you know, so I do think the offense is ahead of the defense. You know, when you think about the ones, the first unit, you know, our our first unit um, are, are pretty talented. You know, we, we're, we're pretty deep at running back. We mentioned that we got four guys. The receivers are making plays out there, doing some great things. And then really more impressed with our offensive line. You know, we, we there's nine guys that I feel like today that can, that'll help us in the fall. Like that, if they're out there playing, we won't we'll, we won't miss a beat. And so that that depth that we've created up front is tremendous, um, and and that's going to help make us a really good offense. Uh, Scott, uh, building off of the injuries part, obviously last year you had the, the a few like long term injuries to Keetro Clark, Monty Montgomery, Braden Smith, a few guys like that. How have the respective rehabs kind of gone with those three? Yeah, I mean, it's going good. I think really all our injured guys, they're, they're on track. You know, like, you know, for example, Monty Montgomery, um, he's, he's getting some like seven on seven work. He's getting individual. So he's getting work. He's out there. We just, we're just not putting them out in the 11 on 11 work, which is to me kind of gets skewed a little bit defensively. You know, if they give up a player or two, you know, we, they just, we just don't have, you know, some of our guys out there when they're going against the one offense. I mean, it's a little bit unfair in that regard. Um, but those guys are getting work. Um, you know, Trey Clark's getting a lot of individual work. He, he's looking really good. I mean, he's, you know, he's, he's running uh, most of it like straight line and uh, straight ahead running. But, um, but Monty's actually doing some cutting, so doing some really good stuff. I mean, he, you know, he, he's not far off at all. And, and Duncan's running, you know, he, he's running out there now, you know, coming off of his surgery. So, so I'm, a, I'm pleased by, you know, where they're at. JJ um, had surgery as well, and he, he's doing good. I mean, so all these guys who have come back with some of the stuff, um, they're not far off, but, but where we are in spring practice, just, we just don't want to you know, risk any kind of chance of getting re-injured. We've heard a lot of good things uh, about Hudson and Wiggins, uh, the guys that have come in. Um, what's, your, what's your take on how those two have shined in spring practice? Yeah, you know, just H H both of them have come in and really just great attitudes, number one. They, they, they both have come in and just want to eager to learn and pick up everything as quickly as they possibly can. They're over here working all the time. Um, even in January, February, prior to spring practice. Um, and, you know, Tyler, Hutz, he, he's, he's made plays every every practice. Like, every, there hadn't been one practice that's gone by he didn't make plays. And when I say make plays, these, these are type of plays where the rest of the players are looking around going, who is that? You know, who is this guy? 
And, uh, you know, he's fun to watch. And, um, you know, but some of the old guys, I mean, Marshawn Ford today made some great plays. I mean, you know, he, he's, you know, we, we got some good weapons. I mean, Tyon's a guy who made some plays today. We, we let him get a lot of reps with the ones today. And because um, he hadn't been getting as many with the ones, and he he, did, he made some great plays today, some really good runs. So runs so low to the ground, has great center of balance, um, you know. But it, but you know, and Malik's playing very well. Malik's playing at a high level, you know. But anytime you have the weapons he has right now, when you think about a Ford and a Wiggins and a and a Hudson and and these running backs, I mean, and there's a lot of weapons there where he he doesn't have to you know do some of the things he did the last year where he's running all over the place. I mean, these guys are making plays for him, and it makes it a lot easier. Coach, when you talk about the running backs, uh, <clears throat> you've got four of them that could be starters. I mean, yep. how is that competition, and and what's it like every day when they're when they're battling? You know, it, it's been really good in that room. And I think you know, give a lot of credit to Darrell, uh, the running back coach. He's really managed that group well, um, that room well. They they're they're competing off each other. They're feeding off each other. There's not any really any animosity in there. They've come to work every single day. Um, you know, I like the competition fact. You know, if, if a, a guy, you know, he's going to get his rep and he knows he's got to be able to make a play. And if he want to get some more reps, you know, otherwise one of those other guys are going to get it. You know, what you love that because it's just elevating all, all their other play. But you're right. I mean, I, I feel great about all four of those guys. I mean, if, if any one of those guys had to go in the game and play, um, I feel really, really good about it. Cooley, to me, has been one of the players that's gotten maybe uh, improved more than anybody else compared to last year. I just think his growth as a person at maturity, um, ability, all those things have really gone up for him. Um, and Jordan, uh, you know, Jordan's a guy, you know, who was hurt, hurt last year, but man, we, we love what he's been doing in camp. He, he's got, uh, you know, electricity when he runs. I mean, he's just, he's just different when he runs as far as the speed. Now he's not as big. So for us, you know, which is a great change up, you know, cause we got some big guys back there. So I love where we're at right there in that room. Coach, you mentioned the offensive line and the depth that you have there. We haven't had a chance to talk to you since you moved Coach Cardwell there. Can you just mm -hmm. talk about moving Nick to that spot, how it worked out, and, and, and bringing Coach Step in? Yeah. Yeah, you know, Cardwell, the one thing he brings, a lot of, a lot of energy and a lot of juice and a lot of passion, you know, which our players love. And I think, you know, the tight ends were bummed whenever I moved him to the offensive line. But the offensive line was fired up. I mean, because, you know, they know how he was from when, when he was here before. And man, they, if you interview those guys, they're going to tell you they love him. And, you know, and they're doing it. They're doing a great job right now. They're playing hard. The one thing that, that you can see and notice in practice is how they're finishing plays up front. They are chasing the ball down the field. You know, there's not, there's, they're, they're not standing around after they get their guy blocked. They are running down the field and finish. He's making that a point of emphasis. Um, and, you know, because he's chasing them, like, like he's literally right behind them chasing them in practice, you know, so that passion, that energy, it's just contagious. And so that that's what's happened in that room. You know, we were able to bring in Coach Step, a guy who was, you know, offensive coordinator at Georgia State. And he, he brings in a, a lot of, a lot of energy as well, but in a different way. You know, he's a great teacher. Um, I was talking to Marshawn yesterday about him. He's like, I said, how are you liking the new coach? He's like, coach, I like him. He said, he's really taught me a lot in his short time of being here. Um, he's a good teacher. He's a good, he's a relationship guy, man. He, he's with these kids, talking to them, these players every day. And, um, you know, so he's really fit in well. I really like the offensive staff room. You know, I think Coach Taylor's done a great job so far of, of really organization, um, organizing our whole practices and our and the way we're doing things on offense. Um, they're really, uh, you know, the walkthroughs he's been setting up, the the, the the unit meetings with the players and coach. I, it's just really been really good for me to sit back and kind of just watch and, and taking a lot off my plate, which is the reason why we hired him. And a follow up, if I may, on, on Coach Cardwell, how how important, obviously teaching and the technique and everything is important, but how important is that juice to have yeah. from a coach, from somebody, you know, and, he, and he's a younger guy? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think the first thing even before that is the fact that he knows our offense inside and out. He was here before. He left and went to, you know, Appalachia State, and they, they basically run our offense. And so for two years, he's tutoring, he's learning teaching that O-line there, and he comes here as a tight end coach. Well, then Coach Big leaves, man. It was just a natural move to slide him right in there to the offensive line. He knew exactly what we're doing. We didn't miss a beat. Where if you had to go hire somebody out there, you got to teach them what we're doing. It's just, man, we'd have missed the whole spring. So that's number one. So that that was great to be able to slide him right in, not miss a beat. But but to what your, your point is, is, is that's, that's a huge plus for us because that passion, that energy – 
is so contagious. It's not fake. Um, it's every day. It's in the meeting rooms. It's live. It's um, the guys are on their toes all the time. You know, there's um, I just think he keeps them engaged. And, you know, and if you're thinking about 18 to 22 year olds when for guys, you know, in, in a society where everybody's, you know, on these right here, it takes a lot to keep people engaged. Right. I mean, after a little bit of time, they, they, they start wandering and this and that. But he, he's right on. them, You know, so I think that part of it's huge. So you're able to teach them more and, and they're able to retain more because they are paying attention in there and they want to get better. Um, so it's been fun to watch. It's been a, it's been a fun spring so far. We, I really love how we all we've all come together, um, on, you know, specifically the offensive side of the ball. And, I, and I'm loving our, our guys on defense as well. You know, you talk about, you know, Coach Crime, what he's comes in, a lot of energy he's bringing him. You know the knowledge and and experience he's been able to bring to that side of the room has been has been awesome as well. Um, so yeah, it's just been a really good mix with our staff. I mean, it's been fun to, to to witness. Scott, you mentioned Cooley as someone who's been one of the players who's been most improved from last year. Who are some other guys who have been who've shown throughout spring that they've done a lot of improvement on yeah. the various game or some or who are some other standouts? Well, we talk about you know Jordan. You know Jordan basically played the Syracuse game and the bowl game. You know we see the 100 yard kickoff return that he had. Um, he, he's really turned a lot of heads this spring. And you know every time he got reps and he's out there, he, he pops one. He pops a long a long run. Um, I think Luke Kandra is a guy up front that's really come into his own. Um, he's ready to start. You know he, he's ready to start at guard. He, he's that kind of player right now. Very excited about, about him. You got Brian Hudson, you know, moved to that center position full time now, and Kendra right beside him. He just creates a ton of depth. Caleb Caleb Chandler's not even going this spring, and we hadn't missed a beat up front. I mean, he's a first team All ACC lineman, you know. And once we get him back, I mean, that's just another body that we're going to be able to put in there. And uh, you know, but I think Kendra's one that's really stood out um, to all of us. Um, you know, I think um, Tyler Tyler. Um, um, what's Tyler's last name? Fast kid. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler Harrell, man. That guy right there has had a great spring. You know, he doesn't want to be known as just a guy that runs by people. And this spring has made a point of, of underneath catches, uh, curl routes, digs, catching the ball. Um, he's improved as anybody the three years I've been here, uh, if anybody on the team, you know, just, and it's his work at the, every single day, putting it in, um, you know, it's been tremendous, you know, and, and I think a uh, two-two out when I was here today at practice, he's like, Coach, Tyler Harrell, boy, hey, he's gotten good, coach. You know, he, he was he saw it today, he was fired up about it. So I, I think, you know, everybody knows his name, but but he's he's getting a lot better and, and continuing to do things. I think Yaya and Ashton, I mentioned them earlier. I think those two on defense to me are continuing to get better. Um they're they're impact players on that side of the ball. And um, you know, again, you know, we, we're gonna need those guys um, you know, to help help the defense. Scott, you were talking about staffing a, a few moments ago. Uh, you lost uh, Aaron from the recruiting room. Um, what I guess, what's your thoughts on filling that spot? And are there other spots that you would still like to add to that room as well? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, Aaron, he, he felt he had a great opportunity, you know, and, and he, at some point he wants to coach. He wants to get on the field. And I think he felt that that was an opportunity for that to happen. And um, he did a great job for us while he was here. And you know, we'll go out we're right now. We're, we're vetting some other guys and, you know, doing some interviews and, and we definitely want to go, you know, get a guy to replace his spot. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to continue to, to build out that room. We we're not where we need to be in, in, in the recruiting room. We got to continue to to build that room out um, to get more personnel, you know, and I'm just comparing them to the, the ACC. You know, we're not where a lot of the schools in this conference are as, as far as that goes in that room. And, you know, it takes a it takes a commitment. It takes a commitment on on our administration, but also us to to be able to go out and hire these guys and bring them in into the fold because it is helping tremendously right now. We've all seen the fruits of the labor that that's happened over the last couple of months in recruiting. Um, you know, and and it's not going to stop. I mean, it's it's every single day. And um, you know, like today, we had a there's a ton of visitors here today as well. And so we got to continue to build that out. And so you know, hopefully uh, over the next few weeks, we'll be able to you know add to that room. Scott, one, one, one more for me. Um, you've, you've had a lot of kids in. Do you anticipate adding a few more that will show up, I guess, this summer? Is that, is that, is that the right way to put it? I mean, that they yeah. would get this summer? Yeah, I, I think so. Um, as we, you know, had, had been there, there's several that are itching to be here like yesterday, um, you know, particularly, you know, on the defensive side, you know, and that's, once we get these guys in here, we should have, we should have, you know, several, most, probably four or five more additions by the summertime when we get back in, into May. 
And, uh, you know, that's going to be exciting for us. And I know it'll be exciting for our coaches to be able to start working with them this summer and, um, you know, to get them caught up as, as quickly as possible. Because the thing that we see, it, it, it happened last year, it's happening this year with these with these guys we brought in, just particularly on offense in, in you know, in January, um, even in Momo this year too, and Griffin, Griffin on defense, those, it, it's, they're immediate impact guys. You know, they help your team right now. They bring experience because they played. And, um, and and the learning curve is, you know, is a lot better for those guys than it is for a freshman coming in. You know, those guys are going to be able to help us. So, yeah, we're, we're excited about what we got coming in. All right. All right, Thanks, guys. Thank you all. Thanks, Coach.